Hello everyone, let's just uh, jump right into another Taijim game. I guess this is probably game number eight. Let's, let's, uh, let's see if we can get a game. Okay, let's see. Regular game. The game is started. Game has started. I get to go first. Let's see if he stays this time. He had to actually accept it. And it's looking like it. I'm going to do this enclosure, which I've been liking a lot. We'll see how it goes. But it gets to move 10 before I can really say anything. This is like the third or fourth game that I've played. Or that I've tried to get a game of that. <laughs> I know he's thinking now. Okay, good. He, he played a move. All right. Hmm. I think it's perfectly fine to just back off here. If he attaches, I get to make a wall facing my enclosure, which I think should be okay. I think slide is probably fine here to prevent me from getting a direct wall. And I might just answer to keep it simple. Hmm. He wants to try to attack me in some way. So I'm going to pincer this side because it'll help uh, make this nice and solid. Defend my corner a little bit. I could have kicked first, but I just wanted to defend. And we'll see what he does. All right, it looks like I can just jump out here, attacking these two stones. Looks like it's going to be a fighty game, which I guess you should expect from Taijim or Fox. Just connect and take the corner. That's very important. Now we don't have to worry about this group at all. And he still has to worry about his three groups. Uh, the Hane doesn't really do anything for him. Uh, so I have two sort of options here. I could try to force him to run out. Or I could try to force him to live directly. I think I'm just going to surround him and have him live uh, locally. I think... Uh, Forcing him to run out could make these two stones too weak. And so if he has to live directly, that makes these stones that he played earlier very weak. Just extend down. And connect up my stones. This is good enough, I think. That move is not really important. Uh, but playing on the top somewhere... Should be fairly good. Or playing on the bottom. I can play on either side. Hmm. Does he need another move to live is a good question. I think he's just alive already. There's a lot of space here. So this stone I'm not sure is important. We should read that out, I guess, before I Tanuki. If I can connect, that is very big for endgame. So if I connect... And he doesn't play anything. Uh, I think I could Hane place inside and go here. And it's eh, I'm not entirely certain that it is good. So I'm going to play on the bottom. If he captures a stone, I can become weak here. So I do want to get a position here, which I think is very important. This kick really helped me. It looks like he wants to honey underneath. That'd be my guess here. I guess I'll just wedge. And force him to live. He needs to make this exchange now. Okay. Now I can get capture this stone. And he doesn't have eyes, so that was a really bad move here. He needed to make this exchange. It weakens his corner a lot. But it was very important. Because now he has to connect, and then when I block here, he's not alive. And he's right next to my very strong wall that I took my time to slowly just connect everything. So this seems quite good for me. I could have come over the top to make some points. 
but I think it's hard for him to escape locally. And so I can just push him towards the wall. Just knight's move to attack. And just back off. Don't want to leave him a bunch of cutting points to uh, Atari me everywhere. I can Atari him here. Because I have enough liberties on these two stones, it's hard for him to really do anything. I can need it to extend first. So it seems like the uh, order of his moves seems to be bad. If he extended first and I tried to take the point that he played, uh, it's not threatening to cut him or anything. So he could turn out and try to do something. Uh, so he's threatening the Hane here. But that's not necessarily getting him anything. And he's threatening to cut through. So I think it's important to play here to make sure we don't get cut off. If everything's connected, I don't need to worry. Yeah, it looks like his uh, order of moves is slightly wrong. It seems a little bit difficult for him to live anyway, but... Yeah. Uh, hmm. This is interesting. He is uh, just taking the corner, which he can do. That helps me a lot on the outside. So he has to play one more move to live. Well, two more moves. And then I can just play uh, on the top. I can connect up underneath at any time, so this group is not in danger at all. Ah, so now I can just jump here to make sure that he can't use any Aji here and his group is remaining weak. And I think this is fine. Just take this top points here and approach. This seems more than good enough. Hmm. All right. He wants to live here. So that's fine. Let's force him to live. Hmm, that seems like a mistake. If I bump here, he goes this way, and then I can just jump in. Or I could cut directly as well. But let's let's stay strong. And then just jump in here. He can very likely just be alive. But we can try to get something out of it. Looks like I can just Hane. And connect. Seems like if he wants to live, he does have to cut me on the outside. So let's see what he does. This cut here. All right. We can just attach to the corner and take the corner. So that was really simple. I'm haunting just to make sure I'm very strong. He can't cut me here. He can only peep. So I don't have to worry about my liberties or anything. And he's just playing very aggressive and invading everywhere, but not really defending properly. Like you saw on the bottom here, he had a much better chance if he uh, played the more correct order of moves, even protecting here. Uh huh. Not sure I understand that move. He might be able to cut me, but then I can just connect up underneath over here. So this one, I guess, should be fine. Yeah, he's trying very hard to do some sort of cool Tesuji here, but it doesn't quite work. 
and it looks like I can just net the stone. He didn't quite get rid of enough liberties to make this cut work. So I needed to peep at the cut instead and then surround, which would have been the, the better idea here. Ah, he left. He ran away from the room. And it does say he resigned, so. All right. So that was an interesting little game. I think there's actually quite a bit you can learn here about uh, living locally. So let's actually just look at how he should have done that. Start with the bottom left here. Yeah, so I expected him to uh, potentially just Hane here. Because I probably want to play another move. And so he's given up the invasion here. Because it's unlikely to be a good invasion anyway. And he should just leave this for maybe reduction potential in the future. And he can just play somewhere else on the board instead. And leave this for later. Or if he feels like it's too big now, he needs to try to play something now. Something like this would be fine. Potentially growing the left side and reducing my area. If I really want to grow this still, I'm not really growing too much. And then he can take uh, a larger area somewhere else. Just leave these two stones and not worry about it. But he decided to do this. And if I take the stone right away, he can potentially make a base here on the bottom. So even if I can capture this, uh, he's very likely going to be alive. Which is why I wanted to play over here first. And then this is uh, his order of moves that was the problem. So first he needs to play this exchange. Yes, it hurts his corner, but now he at least has one full eye here. And if he really wants to, he can just attach and probably be alive directly. Uh, instead, he decided to play this first. If the attachment is a bit more forcing, so I understand why he might want to do that. But now, when I go to capture this stone, it's also threatening to capture the J2 stone. So even if he pushes here, he's not necessarily getting extra eyes locally. And so it's very difficult for him to live. And so he did it again later, I believe. Um, after blocking here, he came out. And he played this move first, which is obviously, it should be fairly obvious, but this is the wrong move. So he needs to threaten to be coming out towards the center uh, like this. And then if I block him, now he can try to play this move because now there's a potential for two eyes. I can probably get rid of the two eyes, uh, but this is still the better uh, way to play. So he just dies there and then he goes into the corner here. This is not necessarily a bad idea. But let's look at how he could have lived on the top now. So he probably has to invade and destroy all my territory. So normally you play like a jump here. So what he could do is he could extend down first. If I try to go after these stones and then he hanes here, this could end up being bad for me. Because he's alive in the corner. And now I have uh, some cutting Aji here. So I'd probably have to play one more move to make sure these stones are dead. And then he can peep and capture some stones. Which would be quite nice for him later on. But instead he decided to do this Hane. Which allows me to have the cut here, the peep here, and the jump here. There's a lot of options. I decided just to bump in the game it's uh, simpler for my outside shape. I don't want to have to worry about my group. And now, again, if he wants to live, he should be uh, going down here first. I block him off here. Now he can just extend. Maybe he's alive. There could be some Aji, though. So he could also try to play a move like this and not worry about this one stone. But him extending here was most definitely bad because now after I jump, it becomes a little bit difficult for him. It might just be dead already. So it might be too much already. He needed to make this exchange. I expect at the 1Q level that he should have been able to figure out how to live in these local areas. But I think that's basically everything to look at here. 
he really tried hard to make some sort of test you work, but they just don't work. And then I get to uh, make sure my group is completely alive. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I might have a series of videos coming out at the end of this month. And we'll, well, maybe we'll be able to find a new server to add to the uh, weekly videos list. So I hope you guys are having a good day and uh, have fun.